Flame Keeper. Champion. Giver. Integrity. Big. Big ideas and big impact. Tenacious. Dad. Bill's leadership is hallmarked by his vision and willingness to take risks, explore new ideas, and over time to give responsibility to others to build on that vision and make it become a reality. This is not a person who's been an ivory tower leader, but has been a leader who has been on the ground working and he has never expected more from anybody else than what he was able to give. Bill is a great questioner. Um, you know, he'll, he'll listen to a presentation and then he'll let loose with that one core question and you'll think, oh, why didn't I think of that? Bill did what foundation presidents don't often do. He came to East Harlem. He came to Roxbury. He sat down with the students and the staff. He listened, he learned, and he said, yes, this is consistent with our values of empowering local communities to rebuild their lives and their communities and to take and to be empowered to make a better world. Bill was a guy that was not afraid and still isn't afraid to take a risk if it means moving progress forward. You always look forward to dealing with Bill. Uh, it's partly because he saw the big picture uh, and there was a generosity in his style and, and spirit and enthusiasm that made it a pleasure, an absolute pleasure working with him. There's so many ways that Bill's vision and leadership have benefited people in Michigan. I could go on for hours and hours, certainly starting with Flint, his beloved Flint. He took C.S. Mott's and Frank Manley's vision for community education and rolled it out across the country through after school, which reaches 10 million children every day. He was persistent in supporting after school programs all across America, and he was persistent in seeing it through good days and bad days. And I think that's made a big difference in that movement. You can have the greatest ideas in the world with what we can do for the kids and how we need to work with the kids and help them. But if you don't have the money, you have nothing. Bill White has been a generous person and a great, great leader that has contributed a lot to after-school programs. Bill was really at the table when the deal was cut for the grand bargain. And it was important that he was there because I knew that he would make the deal. Bill, I am enormously grateful to you. We would not have been able to bring that bankruptcy to such a positive uh, resolution without your unique form of leadership. Several years ago, the Mott Foundation made a series of grants to the Grand Traverse Regional Land Conservancy to purchase property that would become the C.S. Mott Nature Preserve at Arcadia Dunes. And through Bill's leadership and his vision, this is a gift that remains a legacy for all of the people of Michigan. We were slightly crazy, that's how we got a new South Africa, a new country, that's why we built a court in the heart of an old prison and we met an American who was slightly crazy, who had that same almost mad enthusiasm for things that were realizable, but you had to push the envelope, you had to go that extra bit further, you needed that extra bit of vision and we found that in Bill White. Bill White has had an amazing impact on the development of community philanthropy across the globe and we're all, so much, we're all so much better for it. I think Bill's greatest contribution to philanthropy has been his staying power and his loyalty to the work, his commitment to philanthropy in general. It never became about Bill White. His work in philanthropy was never about Mott. It was about how to move the field. He served on the board of the Council of Michigan Foundations and he was board chair from 1978 till 1981. He was my boss. He motivated our staff, he motivated the board, he motivated the members. Bill, for so many years, has been the senior statesman so critical to the field. 
His counsel has been very important before Congress and the executive branch, to his colleagues, and both to the proponents and even the critics of philanthropy. That, I think, is Bill's greatest gift to the field. I think we all owe leaders like Bill White our, our real appreciation and thanks. And I don't think we say thanks enough. So, Bill, my thanks. Thank you, Bill, for your service. Thank you for your friendship. Thanks for your humanity. Bill, it's great to see that you are getting some of the acknowledgement and praise that you so well deserve for all the great years of service you've given, not only to the Mott Foundation, but to the state of Michigan and to the country. Congratulations. Bill, on behalf of all the nonprofits, the local communities, the individuals whom your work has benefited profoundly, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, from all of our hearts, and I want to tell you that we love you. We love you forever. Well, Bill, uh, first of all, I hope you have time to relax and enjoy life. You have given a lot. Uh, but I also hope that your voice still continues to weigh in on the big questions that we face, both in Flint and around the country. Um, your thought leadership has been really significant. It's helped guide me. Bill, may you have the serenity to accept the things that cannot change, the courage to change the things that can be changed, and the wisdom to know the difference. Well, Bill, as uh, you go into retirement, uh, I wish for, for you and Louise uh, some great opera. I know you love that. And I wish that you could step back and watch the after-school program in America double from where it is now. So there should be a change of jobs, and he should go and change from his job to working full-time for after-school All-Stars, because that is exactly what we need. His brain power, his talent, his generosity, and his greatness. So go to work in after-school All-Stars and forget about the retirement. Hasta la vista, baby. Bill is one oldie to another oldie. The only advice I can give you is don't become an oldie. Be as independent and spirited, uh, as, as heart-feeling as you've always been. My wish for your retirement is not that you slow down, but that you no longer have to set an alarm. Congratulations, Bill! Congratulations, Bill! Thank you, Bill! Thank you, Bill!